Well, this morning, the emergence of a new set of coronavirus variants known as FLIRT sparking some concerns about potential summer uptick of COVID-19 cases. Joining us this morning is UCSF infectious disease specialist, Dr. Peter Chen Hong. Dr. Chen Hong, thank you. Always great to see you. But when we talk to you, we know we're going to be talking about something health wise. But let's talk about this, this new variant out there. Can you tell us what's going on with this one? Yes, so well, Marcus, uh, we have a new variant, which is you mentioned has the umbrella term of flirt, but specifically people may also hear about KP.2. The reason why people are paying attention is not only because it's about 28% of cases now, but the rate of increase is really steep. So at the end of March, we were less than 5%, and now we're over 25%. So people are thinking that this will be the variant of the summer, even though right now, we have pretty low cases, number of cases, yes. number of hospitalizations and deaths. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, vaccines. Since we first got the vaccine for COVID-19, we've been pushing people to get the boosters and, and, and things like that. Uh, what about the ones that we're currently getting? Are they going to help combat what's going on with this new variant? Yes, so we all believe that the current vaccine will protect against serious disease, hospitalization and death. Only about 25% of Americans have gotten it so far, and about 45% of those over 65. However, because the variants continue to emerge, the WHO uh, and the US has agreed, will probably uh, likely bring out a new vaccine in the fall. But until then, particularly if you're older, immune compromised, uh, please go ahead and get at least one of the vaccines that are currently available. Yeah, just like we do with the flu, just get those vaccines year after year. All right, so let's talk about some people, the lucky ones, I should call them, those people who have not yet had COVID at all. I know there's a few within this building or at least associated with. Um, what would you say about them? The super dodgers, a lot of people are calling them. How are they affected in all of this? Yeah, so most people in the beginning of the pandemic who thought there were super dodgers actually ended up getting it. So now we have about... At least 30% of Americans believe that they never got COVID. Um, part of it is luck. Um, part of it is they might have gotten the vaccine just before the big you know, surge happens in the winter time. Mm -hmm. But part of it might also be genetic. So actually in the last few months, there has been a genetic variant um, revealed where people didn't necessarily not get it, but they didn't know they got it. So. Mm -hmm. uh, this genetic variant made people not have symptoms because the immune system just zapped in and recognized the virus early. Well, well, like anything, you know, our bodies react differently to certain things. So some people are fare better than others. Well, as you said, make sure you get the vaccine, the boosters if you can. Dr. Chin Hong, thank you so much for joining us as always. Thanks so much, Marcus.